Music tells the story of our lives. So what's yours? Do you remember the pain in your fingers while you practiced? Or having a rough time getting your band off the ground? How did you overcome those obstacles? Hercules Stands invites you to share your music journey, to inspire those who are still learning and struggling to fight for their music dream. Hi, I'm Patrick Sheridan, and this is my music story. Ever since I can remember, music has been a part of my family. Even though my parents weren't professional musicians, they enjoyed playing music and especially dancing to music. My parents started to teach dancing in our basement, and my brother and I had to learn too. So my first lessons in music were actually moving to music. Polkas, waltzes, jives, tangos, foxtrots, and two-steps. In the beginning, music was moving. I started playing piano with my mom as my teacher when I was in kindergarten. I loved playing the piano. Then, at the end of third grade, they called us down in alphabetical order to see if we'd like to be in the school band and what instrument we wanted to play. I wanted to play the violin, but I liked to play with fire so much my parents wouldn't let me have a combustible instrument. Actually, I was eight years old and just wanted to hit something. So I really, really, really wanted to play the drums. But because my last name was so late in the alphabet, there were already 11 drummers signed up for beginning band. So my band director said, How about the sousaphone? I said, Sure. And then a life in the bass clef began. My parents were pretty cool with it. The hardest part for them was finding a car that would transport tubas. In grade school, all the way through high school, I loved being in band so much, I forgot about the fact I never chose the tuba. It just became the voice to express myself. I went to college to study music. I went to a couple of schools for a few years before I was lucky enough to get a job in music. My first job was in the President's Own United States Marine Band. It was a front row seat to American history to be a member of this organization. I was even lucky enough to play some solos with them while I finished my undergrad degree. Then I added to my experiences and went to graduate school in business. I had an amazing statistics professor who said to me, I sure hope you can find something in life that combines your musical mind with your business mind. Business school gave me a greater appreciation for music and not just the art part of it. Business school showed me that I could combine my love of music with my love of process. So I've co-authored some music books that help people through the process of learning music. Now, I travel the world to play, teach, and conduct music, and hopefully inspire the people that come to hear it. I have been doing this for more than 20 years, so often I get to make music with my friends. That is always special. When I'm at home, I conduct an incredible community group called the Salt River Brass. I write and arrange a lot of music for my music family. I listen to and play music with my kids and my wife, who is a music teacher by day and a horn player by night. My daughter plays the trumpet, my son plays the drums, and we all play the piano. And when I'm not doing something in music, I'm hanging with my family and my dog, Harpo. Music tells the story of lives. So what's yours? Hercules Stands invites you to share your music journey to inspire those who are still learning and struggling to fight for their music dream. I look forward to learning your stories.